Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Leroy Mann and today it is finally time for the long-awaited anime room tour video. Now, some of you may be new to the channel, checking this video out. Um, if so, hello, my name is Leroy Mann and I make videos about anime figures and anime content, collection type stuff, anything like that. So, if you enjoy this video, you like my collection, um, consider sticking around. I would greatly appreciate it, but that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, so, in the title, I've got $10,000. I'm not going to lie, that's a little bit clickbait, because um, the amount of money that I've actually spent on my figures is about $7,000. I just added it all up a second ago, um, and it was $7,084, but I have bought a lot of figures at discounted prices, pre-owned, um, with reward points, stuff like that, so, um, and then also if you take into consideration all of my cabinets I have, my prints and posters around the room, my wall scrolls, my manga, everything, I think it easily gets to 10000 um, so in reality, my figure collection is probably worth about eight, eight and a half thousand, and everything's probably ten, eleven ish thousand, uh, something like that. But, well, um, let's just go ahead and get started. I'm just going to do this like vlog style. So, I'm just going to walk around the room and show you around. So, let's go ahead and get into that. Okay, so. I figure my desk is a good place to start as any. Um, of course, my computer, it's right down there. Whatever, you know. I know some people are interested in the specs and stuff, but whatever. It's just computer to me. Uh, so it runs what I wanted to run. Uh, we got the dual monitors with the backgrounds, anime backgrounds, of course. Um, we have a little bit of Baby Yoda merch because I am a Star Wars fan as well. That's like a printer, I'm not a printer, an iron for like perler bead stuff. I dabble in that sometimes. Laptop, headphones, I mean nothing really that interesting. Whiteboard, um, nothing that interesting here. But where, where we will start is I'll show you my prints. I know that's glaring right there. I can only block part of it. But these are my prints. Now what happened as I was watching, well, it's sort of a long story. Anyways, I've been to a few cons uh, in the past year, and I decided that I like prints. <laughs> so, cons, getting like anime art is super fun, um, but they have like the buy two, get one free, and I fell victim to that for sure. Um, so I ended up, I had just a shit ton of prints, basically, and this is not all of them. But, then what happened was I was watching, after I had all these prints, I was watching a video from uh, Will's Anime Corner, and he has just like a huge wall like in his living room of um, framed prints, and I was like, ooh, I want to do that. And I was sort of already thinking about getting some framed anyways. So yeah, that's sort of the inspiration of this in a really quick story, but... We've got Komi in like her casual wear, Power, Marin, Yaimiko, Nezuko, Miku, um, Zero Two, and Nagatoro. Okay, and this is from a guy called Otaku Envy. And he was super cool. Me and a friend of mine, we saw his prints and we said, we gotta have like a ton of those prints. So the first day I got Zero Two, I got Nezuko, Miko, and yeah, I got those three. And he had Nagatoro, which I wanted, but he, um, uh, this is going to be a long video, by the way. I don't know if you realize that. It's going to be super long because I'm going to have all the stories to tell, but that's okay. Um, anyways, he had Nagatoro. He was out of Nagatoro, except for the display version. Um, and he's like, you know, I'm out, but I have the display. Would you like to have the display? And I was like, sure. And he ended up actually just giving it to me. Like, I didn't have to pay for this. So, he's a super cool guy. And then the next day, 
I came back because I didn't buy Comey and I wanted her, but he was out of Comey, so I got Miku instead and he cut me a deal on that. So he's awesome. And then I went and ordered uh, Mar and Power and Comey from his shop later. But anyway, that's sort of the story with the prints. Um, up here we have some more. We have Chompet and Bazet and Buet. I got those at a con. I got those at Comic Con. Uh, then we have a, um, a Toru. I got that at Comic Con as well. And then we have a ton. Like this wall, I'll have to back up for this. This wall is super cool. I know it's glaring everywhere, but I've got to have the window open for the, uh, the lighting. This wall is awesome. I'm super, super, super happy with the way this turned out. Um, also, for the artists, I'll try to put them in the description if I can find them. Uh, I'm not sure who did these, but this is Otaku Envy. Um, this was from, let's see, this Miku, uh, Miko, this Yor. This Marin from the same artist. Um, pretty sure I have their card. Um, but they are just super cute. So I got those. This Miko. This is from Weeb Culture. And so is this Zero Two. That's a Weeb Culture. This dumbbell um, art print. That's from Weeb Culture. That is um, Weeb Culture's um, thingy mascot basically um and the thing with that is i actually ordered one of these i have a lot more prints from weave culture they just don't all fit in here but i ordered one of these and there was a big blemish um on habiki's thigh and i really didn't want that because i wanted it framed that's why i bought it um so i just reached out to him and told him he was like you know what i'll include one free in your next order so just a shout out to weave culture great customer service um because you really appreciate when people work with you and things like that so i ended up actually making another order um just for that this zero two is from sin calamity uh i really like that one this iron mouse was from a con from comic con and then these two the land of the illustrious i'm so sorry this is glaring so bad but i can't really do anything about it. Land of the Illustrious and Rim. These are from the same uh, artist. That was from Anime Week in Atlanta. And down here, I got this at Comic Con. This is a Nero. I just thought she was super cute, so I got that. Okay. So then these are from an artist. Um, uh, there was a vendor selling these big boards like this. These acrylic boards, which is super cute. They were selling tons of them in like this art style. But they were kind of expensive, so I didn't want to buy a bunch of those boards like that. So I ended up just looking up the artist, which is, I think his name is Uzi. Not like, like Ooze the Virus, like the blue, the blue virus guy, like that guy's name. But I'll put it somewhere in the description or something. Um, so I just wanted some of his art. So I went and bought these smaller prints, these like eight by tens of Nezuko, Power, and Hibana. I just think they look sick. His art is super cool. Then we have this Marin print, which is her and all of her cosplay. And I thought that this looked awesome. That was from Awa, Anime Week in Atlanta. And then this is one of those renticular thingies. Um, I just found this in like my local mall <laughs> and I thought it was kind of cool if you can see the yeah so this is from rosario vampire and she changes her form you know depending on how you look at it but yeah that's it for the prints i guess i'll show you this while i'm at it this is a uh i mean i don't know if you call it life size but it's pretty close you know it's super tall of kurumi and i have one of erina as well but um no, not erina um urza I just don't really have room to hang anywhere. So if we move on uh, to this bookshelf, if you can see all of that. This is like my manga miscellaneous bookshelf. So if we come up here, I will go through these super quick. I've got 1 through 24 of an origami. Um, 
1 through 10 of Comey Can't Communicate, 1 through 5 or the completed series of After the Rain of Zamunga Dio, um, the thingy, Pizza in Another World thing, Gorin Logan Art Book, Soul Eater Volume 1, the hardcover perfect editions. Then we have 1 through 30, um, 31 of Black Butler. I'm a big Black Butler fan, if you can tell. This was a board. So at uh, Comic Con, um, J. Michael Tatum, who voices Sebastian in the English dub, was there. And he's like the most goaded favorite voice actor ever. So I brought this to get him to sign it, but this is like really crappy. I've shown this in a video before. Um, but I just have it here because, you know, like I've got to put it somewhere. And this is the better autograph from him. Um, I just have it next to the, um, next to the Black Butler stuff. But behind here we have some more manga that, you know, it's just there. I really don't have a good place to put this. It's kind of just staying here. Um, it's just very hard to put back with one hand. It's kind of just staying there. It does sit up straight, but like... You know, I'm just going to set this down somewhere because I don't want it to fall. Anyways, so yeah, there's most of my manga. A little bit more down here. This is just Rosario Vampire Volume 14. I literally have this for display. I have no other volumes of this. I just think it looks good with the pink flower. Random little oddish um, crochet. I just thought that was cute and bought it one day. And we have some random stuff. Spice and Wolf Volumes. Um, How to Treat Magical Beasts some slime things um, and they're like um, manga or something some kind of Japanese manga and then just some random other manga made some uh, Konosuba thing fairy tale spinoff Spice and Wolf uh, Married My Best Friend Galgahan and there's a demon lord on the floor and I also have some straps and some keychains and pins and stuff those are just kind of here um, so they don't have a better place to put them. Also a coin. I got that at AWA. Um, at the high dive booth. I'm going to take a kneel. So down here we have a Baby Yoda. We have a Nezuko pillow. I got that at the first Comic Con I went to. Uh, this is a perler bead art of Rimuru. I actually made that. I plan on making some more. Also, when we went to AWA... Me and my best friend went to uh, the Black Pink, Born Pink World Tour. And this is just some stuff I got. That was just the box that the um, shaker came in. And we got these little cards. And I bought that towel. So I just think this looks really good, actually. And I might add to it. I'm not really that big into Black Pink or K pop, but I'm not against it either. And then this is just complete miscellaneous stuff those are some other perler bead arts that i've made um yeah this is just random stuff here so with that being said it is time to move on to the figure collection itself which i'm going to assume that's why most people are here that's what most people are interested in including myself so let me open this cabinet so this is the first shelf. This is my fate shelf. <clears throat> Starting to run out of breath talking so much. Um, we've got Mordred and Nendroid, a Sega Ishtar, Kotobukiya's um, Shonda Ark. That was my first skill figure I ever bought, and I love it. We have Shonda Ark, uh, good Annie Flex. That's about Annie Flex. We have the Ren Nendroid, Good Smile, Formal Dress, Saber, I don't remember who made this, maybe Good Smile, I don't really care for this figure, I kind of bought it in like a challenge video, it's a made Saber, Sega, um, Ereshki Ga, and the Sakura Matoi, Matoi? Sakura Mato, um, Nendroid. 
Oops, I like that one as well. It's a really nice Nendoroid. And then this is the Zero Two. What am I talking about? This is the ReZero <laughs> shelf. So, mainly just a bunch of Rim prize figures. Um, the Kid and Nendoroid. These are both Sega figures. Which they look really nice paired together. And then the Nendoroids. Rim and Ram. Subaru Nendoroid. Um, the doll version of Rim. Uh, this is one of the best like price figures I've ever had. So my favorite price figure. Um, I think it's Sega. Maybe Taito. I don't remember. Um, and then another Akinna like, price figure. So but these are basically all prize figures. I would like to have an actual scale of rim. Um, I do have a scale of Kidna. Um, it's over here. Um, it just didn't really fit with the shelf. So, I also have the Beatrice and Android. I just am not displaying it at this current moment. I haven't unboxed it. This is like a random shelf basically with people that don't really fit. This is the Kotobukiya Idol Master. I think her name's Miku or Miko. I don't even know her name. Then we have Nabara. This is a Kotobukiya figure. Then we have um, the pop up parades of Kagome and Inuyasha. We have the new Toru um, Apex figure. The Kotobukiya um, Rebecca from Eden Zero. And then I'm running into my table. This is my table, by the way, I do all my recording on. So I can't get a great angle here. Um, this is like prize figures, other random stuff. So this is just the pop up parade of Yang, the pop up parade of Lusa and Ur Urza from uh, Fairy Tail, Nero, pop up parade. And these four are all Corful prize figures in the back. Corful, I've been impressed with them lately. And they have pretty nice prize figures. So we've got Alberto, Kaguya, Kidna, and Kurumi. And then I just don't have a place to put these guys, basically. This is the Racing Miku 2016 um, Nendroid. And then a Sega Anya and Bon that a friend of mine got me. So like I say, a bunch of these figures, like back when I used to shop on Tom, I got a lot of these figures basically for free, um, or at some sort of discount. Um, so I've been pretty frugal in my collection so far, except for these two. They cost a pretty penny. Um, we got the Kaguya Freeing Bunny, and the Arena Freeing Bunny, the bare leg version. Still costs a decent amount of money um, for those two. And there's plenty of room in here for maybe two or three more bunnies. I just haven't really gotten around to actually buying one. So, yeah. This is the bunny section. And I have the grass there just so it doesn't look so open, so plain. I think it actually helps. Um, but anyways, so this is my Star Wars section. So... First of all, these are all Kotobukiya figures, by the way. We got the Mandalorian. The Baby Yoda down there, of course. And we have Ahsoka Tano from the Clone Wars. Unfortunately, her angle, the light doesn't really shine on her face very well, but what can you do? Then we have Captain Rex from the Clone Wars TV show. And these can actually stand like back to back, be displayed together, but it's just kind of awkward to do it. Like, you don't get a good angle of either of them when you do that. So I just elected to do this. Um, and then this shelf is pretty bare, has room for more stuff. So right now it's basically just the red shelf. Uh, so we have Destiny, which I love this figure. And it seems like pretty unique. Like not a whole lot of people have this. I mean, it's still relatively new, but that's from Talk to Be Destiny. And we have Ren Tosaka. This figure is just beautiful. This is from the 15th anniversary. I love the purple and red together. This looks fantastic. Um, 
yeah, I'm considering getting the rest of the set, but it would basically just be to complete the set. Not really because I love the figures or the characters. Okay, so we're actually moving through this pretty quickly. Um, so at the top here, this is definitely like my OG shelf. I've had this style set up for quite some time. These are two of my favorite animes ever. This is Black Butler and Steins Gate. So, we start here. This is the Kotobukiya, um, Sebastian Michaelis. And that's a very nice figure. He's supposed to have a plate right there, but it's just so obnoxious, I just don't display it. Um, and then, I think these are from Furyu, CL, and Sebastian, which is pretty nice for uh, basically a prize figure. Then we have the Kotobukiya, sorry, the Good Smile, Makise Kurosu. Um, this is from Kotobukiya. Both of these are Kotobukiya um, of Makise. This is technically like the Amadeus version, but still Makise, so whatever. Uh, then we have the Alpha Max version. The Rintero Okabe Nindroid. Alright, so my phone actually died right there. <laughs> That's why we had that cut. But anyway, let's just continue on. On this shelf, again, this is pretty much just a random shelf. We've got the Arena Nakari. A good smile on her throne. This figure is amazing. <laughs> One of my favorite figures, probably. Um, I do display her on the red thing. I know some people don't like the red thingy but I do I think it just gives it a lot more presence about itself and we have Masato from Evangelion that's a Kotobukiya figure got it for a great price um, then we have the Kotobukiya Nino with the long hair then we have Echidna Good Smile, uh, Tea Party version. I love this figure. I love Echidna. This is probably her best figure so far. Um, and then we have Akino Himejima. Uh, this was a... Uh, I don't remember who made this figure, actually. Maybe Good Smile? I don't think it was Good Smile, but anyways. There's that figure. So down here... <clears throat> this is my... Bang Dream Shelf. And we have all of the Popping Party, Android Jair, Kasumi, Rimi, um, Saika, Psycho, Arisa, and Tai. Saya, that's her name. Um, and they're on this little base. This was a stage that I actually made myself. Um, and I think it actually turned out pretty well. I mean, it looks like they're on a stage, which. Is mainly my uh, my main goal. Then we have an Arisa Sega uh, prize figure, and then the pop up parades of all of the band members. So we've got Yukina, Kasumi, Ran, I think her name's Aya, and um, Kokoro in the back there. And then we have a Bang Dream clear file. Which, I think this looks very good together. I think putting stuff behind it kind of makes it pop. Um, it does glare, but that's okay. So I'm going to take a knee for this one. Uh, this is my Nendroid shelf. So originally, when I started collecting, I was all about Nendroids. Um, and the circle of life, I guess, for a figure collector is to eventually move on to scales. But... I'd still like the Nendroids. So we have Alberto, Haruhi, Polo, Red Blood Cell, um, Toka, Natagami, Zero Two, Colin. This is not a Nendroid, but it basically is. Um, Alba Suzukaze, Alba, yeah, I think that's her name, Micah. From Blend S, and then we have Senko, that's a good one. Darkness, Aftelia, Shishomaru, Deku, Riza, um, well, Hatsune Miku, 
Lycia, and Ryuko Matoi. So those are my current Nendroids. Um, I do have some more that aren't unboxed yet, but I'm kind of just procrastinating actually unboxing them because they're kind of a pain in the ass. Okay, so then we move on to the big new cabinet, the Reggie Soar from Ikea. This is mainly what I was waiting on to make my video, um, is to get this in. And it's much bigger and larger than the Billy's um, over here. But anyway, first off I want to show off this Sabre 1 4th which I'm finally able to actually display because I have a cabinet that's big enough to hold her. Because the billies, she does not fit in these billies. Um, she fits tallness wise, but not depth. Um, but yeah, so I can finally display her, which is nice. I forgot how enormous this figure actually is. Then we randomly have Rimuru Tempest. He's kind of just sitting here because he doesn't have a better place to stay. Um, then we have my only resin figure so far. I'm probably going to get more soon. Of uh, Nezuko by... Um, I think it's called Z Studios. I don't remember for sure. But I love this figure. And I actually did have this displayed right over here before. But she fits a lot better in this cabinet. Okay, so then we have probably... I can't really even get a good shot of all of it. Probably about right here is as good as it's going to get. Um, my Demon Slayer shelf. Which sort of just took a mind of its own. Um, I didn't really like purposely get all these Demon Slayer figures. It kind of just happened. Because I love the aesthetic and art style. And I love Nezuko, one of my favorite characters. Um, we have the Shinobu Pop-Up Parade. Gal Girl Shinobu. Kotobu Kia Shinobu, a look up Shinobu, a tiny Kano trading figure. Also, these are the little trading figures I have that were such a pain in the ass to like set up, but whatever. Uh, so that's all the Shinobu area. Then we go into Nezuko. So this is a figure arts Nezuko of when Kano is chasing her. A demon form figure arts. Figure arts are awesome, by the way. Uh, this is also a little trading figure. I'll get that out of the way. The Tanjiro figure arts with Nezuko. Uh, Tanjiro is basically just here because it pairs with Nezuko. That's pretty much the only reason I have that figure. Uh, the laying down version of Nezuko. The Aniplex blood art Nezuko. And I have that up on the riser mainly because I needed to everyone to fit in here but also since she's like upside down I think it's just good it gives you a better view of her this is my first Nezuko figure the Kotobukiya art FX one we have the Nezuko Nendroid the Aniplex Nezuko this is like one of the very first Nezuko figures to come out um, I just didn't buy it at the time because it was ridiculously overpriced but then I got it pre on later for a better price um, then we have a uh, Nezuko Prize figure, another Nezuko Prize figure. One of these are Sega, the other one is like Ren Presto. I'm not sure which is which. And then the Nezuko um, um, Pop Up Parade. Also, I have this background. I had this made, it was like printed, so it's like a vinyl sheet. It's actually from the show. You can see Tanjiro um, when he was standing in the forest thing. Um, but I had that made, and it's not really supposed to be this big. I kind of just made it work. Like, you can see the lip in it right there above Shinobu's head. But I didn't want to just waste it. It used to be in that shelf right here. But um, I, it, I my Demon Slayer collection just outgrew that shelf. So here's the final shelf for the figures. This is my wedding dress area, which I do want some more wedding triggers. I think they look so good. Um, this is Alberto. By Furyu, I think. Or no, 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 by um, Fnex. I don't remember. 
Uh, and then we have the Good Smile Company 02. Very nice figure. And then we have a little Data Live area, basically because they needed to go somewhere. We have Tokugatagami. And we have Kurumi Tokasaki. And that does it. That is the new room tour. That is everything inside. We just have like a little 360 of everything. And there you go. So there you go. That was my new room tour. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it was actually, I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video, but it's been two years since my first room tour video. It was in March of 2021 when I first kind of moved into this new place, this new room. And just to take a look at that, it's just insane. Like the difference, it's just incredible. So that's why I think it's fun to make videos like this. You so see, you can go back and reflect on your old collection and just see how far it's it's come. You know, like I think that's a very uh, it's a very fun and interesting uh, thing to do. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I've been talking about it for a long, long time, and I'm super happy with the way the collection is right now, and with how everything is working out i really love the collection right now but anyways that's it for this video um if you guys enjoyed it if you're st stuck around to now the very end thank you very much for watching um everything until this point um of course if you like this video please leave a like down below let's get this in the algorithm let's get some eyes on this um if you're not subscribed and you enjoy content like, and you enjoy my content, um, content like this, please consider subscribing. We're on the road to 1,000 subs. Um, we're still not quite at 400 yet, but hopefully we will be um, after this video. Maybe we'll get some new viewers, new eyes on the channel. Um, but yeah. So, if you have any questions, any comments, concerns, you can um, leave some comments down below on this video, or you can go and join my Discord in the description below. And also, I'm going to try to have most of the artists and things for these prints back here. Um, hopefully, they'll be in the description as well, if you're curious about those. Um, but you can join my Discord server in the description below. Just to be up to date when I upload a video or possibly when I go live. Things like that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Again, thank you for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you guys next time.